to this video today. Today we are going to talk about the common mistake to avoid when writing a research paper. This is uh, they are the most common uh, mistake uh, done by researcher when writing a research paper. So the first one starting sentences with a number. In this example, 150 respondent was diagnosed with hypertension. This is wrong. You cannot start a sentence with a number. So the correct one, either you start with a transition. You add a transition, like not that, a 150 respondent, or you spell out the number, like 150 respondent, or you can add a phrase before, like in this study, in the current study, 150 respondents was diagnosed with hypertension. This is the correct way to start the sentence. The second one is using letters instead of symbols. Do not use letter X for multiplication symbol. So use the exact symbol. Do not use a letter. Number three is no space between a number and it is unit. The body weight of babies range between 5 kg and 10 kg. And you can see there is no space between the 5 and the kg. The correct way is to have a one space between number 5 and the kg. Number four is using the past tense for tables and figures. For tables and figures, we must use present tense. The baseline characteristic of all subject were summarized in table one. So the correct will be the baseline characteristic of all subject are summarized in table one. Figure four shows the result. But in the results section in the manuscript, we can use the past tense. But for the figures and tables, we should use the present tense. Number five is subject verb agreement. The ratio of positive cells per 1,000 cells were defined as positivity index. The ratio of positive cells per 1,000 cells was defined as the positivity index. This is the subject verb agreement. And the last one is repeating information. The baseline characteristic are shown in table one. Table two show the body temperature of all female subject. So, both table 1 and 2, as we can combine both of them, like table 1 and 2, show the baseline characteristic and body temperature of all female subjects, respectively. But, keep in mind, do not use respectively too much. Table, a, table 1 show A, table 2 shows B, so no need to use respectively, if they are showing two different things. Thank you so much for the watching this short video and um, soon we will have more video about what is the most common mistake uh, also in writing the abstract and also the uh, reporting of the result. Thank you so much.